afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are here for the February 2018 World Docs Virtual User Group Meeting from Attorney Computer Systems, where today we are going to be talking about printing multiple documents from the file list, the World Docs file list. Mary Jo is going to take that topic. And send tos, which if you don't know what they are, you're going to find out because I'm going to take that topic. Without further ado, I will now press all of the magic buttons, not just the one magic button, because that, that's a mistake most people make. They, they only press the one magic button, <laughs> but I've pressed them all, and we are now at a World Docs file list screen, and Mary Jo will tell us about printing multiple documents. Yeah, so a lot of times people don't realize that you can print documents from the World Docs list. Uh, a lot of times we'll just open the document and then we'll print it, you know, from whatever program that we've opened, Word, Excel, Adobe, whatever that is. Um, but you can select documents from a list, and I'm just going to select a couple here, um, a World uh, Word document, whoops, my mouse is not cooperating, Word Docs document, uh, Word document, sorry, uh, an Excel document, we can do, you know, whatever, a couple of different ones. So you can pick and choose wherever you are on the list, you can do PDFs, whatever you have there, you can just grab and, and just select them. And then once you've selected all of the ones that you want, all you have to do is go up to File and Print. And those documents will then be sent to the printer, and it will print them all at once. So it, this could be limited. Um, if you ever get one, maybe you've selected 10 or 15 or 20 documents. I don't know what the limitation is default out of the box at the moment. Um, but if you select too many and you get a message that says that you have um, you know, selected too many documents, that it's limited to you know, 10 or whatever it is, that number can be increased uh, if you need to. So if you have to print more than that number, um, let us know that is a, a setting that can be changed and we can print more than that. Um, that's also available with other things, attaching documents, moving, things like that. If you ever get that limitation, uh, those, those limits can be raised. So if you are printing too many, don't worry. Just go ahead and um, you know, let us know. We can up that uh, count for you so you can print more if necessary. Um, but you can print these all at once. I never even had to open. I never had to preview. I didn't have to do anything except file, print. I also believe if you hit control P, that may work. Nope, I guess not. Nope, does not. I thought maybe I'd give it a shot because I, you know, keyboard people, I know you're out there and you're wondering, can I do control P? Well, no, you can't. So we have to do file and then print. Um, you may be able to right click on the document and choose print. You can. And so if you do that, then it's going to ask you if you want the three selected or the highlighted file and so on. So you can right click and choose print or go up to file and choose print. Print as many documents as you need to right from the list without viewing. Paul? <laughs> okay, now I'm talking. Hello, I'm back. I guess I muted my microphone instead of unmuting my microphone, and here I am talking to myself, except Patty. She came in and helped me. So they gave the, the powers that be, the, the people that decide the topics and who gets what, gave Mary Jo a very short topic so that I could talk about Centus, because Centus is going to take a little bit longer to talk about than a normal topic. Everybody knows that when you go to save something, it saves to World Docs. Um, and sometimes people will ask in training, well, I, I want to save it to my desktop. Well, y y you can after you get it to World Docs. And the way that you get it out of World Docs to someplace else after you have put it into World Docs, because that's what a document management system is. It's based to put all your documents. Once it's in there, you can send it someplace else, and you do that with a send to. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these, just so we aren't sending multiple documents. And I am going to click on one document, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say Send To. And when I do my Send To items appear, now in a minute we'll, we'll define what those are. Some of them that come with World Docs are Copy to Windows Desktop, Copy to Windows My Documents, Copy to Windows My Pictures. Um, some of these other ones, like Send to Printer or Send to Printer Default, uh, those may come with World Docs. They may be modified. This one here, this Copy to World Docs folder, is one that I've written that we put on a lot of client sites. 
Send to's are ways to take documents and put them somewhere. Sometimes you're sending them to a, a folder or a place like my desktop or my documents or a World Docs folder that would appear on the desktop as, as is in the example I'm going to show you. Sometimes you're sending them to something like a printer or uh, 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 another program. Uh, you'll find send to's in here when we go into the add edit that send documents to compare docs, which is a comparison program. So you can build program, build um, send to's to do more than just place files into folders. But for the sake of this discussion, we're going to concentrate on sending things to specific folders. Now I'm going to get very nerdy and I'm going to send you guys to some resources. If you are squeamish and not a nerdy person, you can still watch. But don't panic. If you need help with one of these, either there's somebody nerdy in your office that can help you, or we can always help you. And World Docs can help you too through your maintenance agreement. So remember, uh, half the time it's not knowing how to do something, it's just knowing that it can be done and then going to the right person to get it done. So let's go ahead and look at send copy to Windows desktop. So I've selected this indexer system requirements from Mary Jo's best practices folder. I've right-clicked and chosen Send To, and I'm going to send it to Windows Desktop. Where does it go? It goes to Windows Desktop. Now, my Windows Desktop is probably a mess, but we'll go see if we can find it. And so, Indexer System Requirements, there it is. Now, that, along with Send to My Documents and Send to My Pictures, comes right with World Docs. So if you've ever wondered how do I get something out of World Docs, you can use either of those send to send to my documents, send to my pictures, send to Windows Desktop. All of those will take the file that you've highlighted or the files that you've highlighted and will push them out to that location. Now as I said when we uh, when we went in there to my desktop, some people's my documents or my pictures or desktop are kind of a cluttered mess then maybe you don't want to send 18 files that have to go on a CD to then be produced to opposing counsel for production of, uh, uh, of, of uh, 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 to satisfy a production request. Maybe you don't want to send those 18 files out here because then trying to find them in this mess of icons would be a pain. So a send to that we will um, give you if you'd like um, that we use is one called send to world docs folder. So if I select this document and this document and this document, just three of them for now, and I right click and choose send to wind, uh, uh, world docs folder, copy to world docs folder, the three checked, it tells me it did it. And now if I go back out to my desktop, I'm going to find a world docs folder here point to it, Mary Jo, thank you. She's got such great eyes compared to my old eyes. And there are, and there are, oh, come on. No. <laughs> Would this be a good time to admit that I hate computers? And there are all three documents that I sent plus a whole bunch more. So one thing to remember is that if the send to is not written in such a way as to clean the destination folder and empty it out before the documents get there, you may be intermingling here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write, I'm going to choose all the documents and I'm going to choose delete and I'm going to get them out of there. I'm going to go back to World Docs. I'm going to mark these three documents again and I'm going to send them to the World Docs folder. And now when I go out to that World Docs folder, it's going to have nothing but those three files in it. And there we go. Now, there is a setting, and again, we're going to get kind of nerdy here in a second. There is a setting that you can build into the send to a switch that says slash clean, and that would tell it, hey, take anything that's in this folder that we're going to and get rid of it so that when, when these three documents get there, they'll be the only three documents that are in there. Now, let's go back into World Docs, and let's look at this. 
and Paul, while you're doing that, I just want to make sure everybody understands that that was a copy. You're not, when you delete those out, you're not deleting things out of World Docs, and you're not That's moving things out of exactly. World Docs. You're really just creating a copy of the document out into that folder. Good so. point. That's, that's exactly true. These documents are still here. I'm just sending them out of World Docs so that they can be used in some other way. Different than a checkout, too. If you have ever done a checkout, a checkout is what you do when you're going to send something to your desktop to work on at home and you want everybody to know you've got it checked out so they can't mess with it. This is different. This is used to produce uh, answers, uh, discovery requests. It's used to take a bunch of files and put them on a CD and send them to a client. It's used to do a lot of those things where you simply want to copy these out. Uh, another good example would be to up, if you have to upload this to a, a site for a court document, you know, a lot of electronic filings for court documents. Now you can send it out to your desktop, then you can grab it and attach it yes. to a court um, filing. Exactly. That's a big thing that people do that for. Exactly. So now I'm going to go into Send To's again, and I'm, I'm not really going to send this file somewhere, but to get there, I'm going to right click and choose Send To, and I'm going to go down to Add Edit. And there are two types of send -tos. There are public send -tos, and there are my send -tos, which are private send -tos. Now, depending on who you are and what level of access you have to World Docs, you may be allowed to create public send -tos, and you may not. That's not something for this discussion. That's something more for what your rights are there within the firm and whether or not you should be doing something in a public nature or if you should just be doing this in a private my send -to sort of nature. And I'm going to take this copy to World Docs folder and edit it so you can see what's going on here. First off, there's the name. That's what appears when you right click and choose Send To in that list of your available Send To. So name it appropriately. Um, you'll notice that they all, the ones that I have mentioned, have the word copy to in the beginning to make it clear that that's what the user is doing, that they are not moving, they are not deleting from World Docs, they're just copying. You can assign a shortcut uh, with some of the F keys or in combination with uh, Alt and Control and Shift uh, so that somebody can simply highlight a file and then hit a key combination or they can uh, mark a bunch of files and hit a key combination. Um, right clicking works just as well too. Most of the send tos that our clients create or that we create use something called WD Copy, which is just a simple extra program that comes along with World Docs that copies things out of World Docs into other locations. So the name of the program that we're running is WD, it is WD Copy .exe, and it happens to be in the World Docs folder, which we have a variable here to identify where that is. Again, I said I was going to get nerdy, and I'm going to show you how to understand these things. This is not a lesson in what everything means in here. It's more of a, here's what you can do. Here's some resources. If you're feeling nerdy, you can go play with it. If you're not, we can help you. Um, then there are parameters that get passed. Um, basically, what the location is that you want to send to, and this particular switch, the slash LFN stands for long file name. That means when it gets out there, it's going to have the same name as the profile screen had. So most of you know that these documents in World Docs are actually stored as an eight-digit number called the doc ID, a dot, and then the extension. So if we were to just send that file out to the World Docs folder or out to my desktop, it wouldn't make much sense because when you got there, it would be something like 00123456.com dot docx or dot pdf or dot whatever. Um, the long file name simply says, hey, when you get it out there, give it the long description from the profile as part of its file name instead of that silly doc ID that is so useful sometimes and so frustrating other times. Now, how do you learn how to do these things? Well, I've got some resources here. The most important thing to do is to go to the knowledge base, and I'll show you how to get there and how to find this. Go to the knowledge base, the World Docs knowledge base, and find the Creating World Docs Send to Targets document. It's, uh, what, 10 pages long, and it basically explains all the things you need to know about creating Send Tos, and it goes into great detail about the WD Copy program and its shortcuts and switches 
so that you can understand how to use WD Copy to create send tos. Now, how do you get to this document? Go to World Docs uh, Knowledge Base. So we'll go out to the uh, to Google Chrome, and we'll go to knowledgebase.worlddocs.com. And I'm going to log in. If you don't have a login for Knowledge Base, every firm is entitled to one. Uh, you just need to send an email to World Docs or to us, and we'll forward it to World Docs asking for a login. And then what I would do is I would just search the, the Knowledge Base for Send To. And the one that you want is called Creating World Docs Sent To Targets. That's the document that I've got up here. So to summarize, in World Docs, you can get to your send tos simply by right clicking on a document or first, if, if appropriate, first marking or selecting several documents and then right clicking, choosing send to, and then using one of the predefined send tos, most likely desktop, my documents, or if you've got it, the copy to World Docs folder. Remember, I will, uh, we will set this up for you free of charge if you want it as a way to introduce you to, to uh, doing send tos. All you need to do is send an email to paul.purdue at attorneycomputersystems.com. I think that email address appears at the end of the VUG of the virtual user group meeting if you're watching this. And if you aren't, paul.purdue, like the chicken, not the school, not the chicken, paul.purdue, P-U-R-D-U-E, at attorneycomputersystems.com, and we'll get that set up. So you choose send to, you choose the appropriate send to, and you're, you're on your way. How do you get into creating them? Add edit. Same place, add edit. You can either do public or private. If you have public, you're going to see an ad, the ability to do public. You're going to see edit and add when you're in there. If you don't have that right, you're just not going to see those things. And then that's where you have to get nerdy and, and go to that, that, that document that I sent you to, that 10-page document. Study the switches, understand what the, uh, the, the variables are that are going to get you to the right place, and uh, go for it. If you have trouble with this, you can get a certain amount of help from World Docs. You can certainly get help from us. Of course, we're going to charge you, and World Docs is not. Uh, or you've got that document and a whole bunch of other resources. If you just type World Docs Send Tos in Google Chrome, you'll probably get to Trumpet's site. They have some great resources on World Docs. You might get to John Heckman's site. Uh, he's a, a, another consultant that, that has a lot of resources. And you might get pointed to some videos on our site. But that's it. That's how to use Send Tos and a little bit on how to create them. If you didn't know they were there, start playing with them because they're very valuable. They can be very useful sometimes. Next month, we're going to talk about controlling automatic profiling. Uh, Mary Jo is going to take that topic. And I'm going to talk about linking new versions that come from outside to the document they originally came from. You send a document to somebody, they send it back. How do you get it to be version 2 of the document you originally sent to them? How do you get it to be the next version of the document you originally sent to them? Those are next month's topics. And of course, it wouldn't be a virtual user group meeting if we didn't take you to attorneycomputersystems.com. Of course, we want you to notice the emphasis that I have placed on the last S in the word systems, because without it, you don't get to the right place. And I'm going to click on videos. And I will then be rewarded with a list of every video title that we have. Four of them are live events, and three of those live events are virtual user group meetings. You are currently in the World Docs virtual user group meeting. We also have one for tabs and one for Practice Master. And we also have our fourth live event, the Coffee Pot webinars that I produce each month, where we bring somebody in from another company that has an add-on or an accessory product that works with World Docs or with Practice Master or with tabs and adds value. Uh, we also have our two pre-recorded uh, titles. We have Mary Jo's eBytes video series, where we take she records three of these each month: one on tabs, one on Practice Master, and one on World Docs. Short three or four minute videos where we take something very cool that we think people want to know about that can be explained quickly and concisely, uh, and we take three or four minutes to explain it. We have our longer format Paul and Mary Jo show where we take broader topics that take a little more time to explain and spend. Uh, 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes on a single topic, explaining it in great detail. Um, you can click on the More Info for any of these 
videos and see more about them, including a description of what the video title is, a, if it's a live event, the next uh, live events subject, and links to register. These are both links to the same place. It's just some people like to click on a link where they can see where they're going. And then as you scroll down, you'll find recorded versions of every one we did before. Not the one we're currently listening to. Well, this is tabs, but um, the tabs, Practice Master and World Docs virtual user group meetings from today are currently in post-production and they'll be available in anywhere from two, two days to two weeks, depending on what our production schedule is at the time. But as you scroll down even further, you'll find actual videos that you can watch over and over and over again because they're just that, that much fun. You can also search for something. Maybe you're looking for oh, send tos. And you can type it there and either hit enter or uh, you can uh, go from the short list. And, and if you get the long list, you can click on an article from there and get to that video and watch it. These are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So please, they're for you to watch. Please take advantage of them. That's it. Everybody have a good rest of the day and a good rest of the month. And we will see you in March. Thanks much.